Hi, my name is Kate, and you're very welcome here on my channel where I talk about perfumes and my fragrance associations. And today we're going for a journey together. We're going to mysterious and beautiful and so tempting ancient Egypt. Since I was a kid, I was obsessed with everything, <laughs> everything connected with ancient Egypt, and I was reading all the books I could. And can you imagine my excitement when zoologists that we're going to discuss today announced the new fragrance called Sacred Scarab? I was, I think, I was one of the first people who ordered the sample, uh, the sample uh, bottle from the website because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> And it was shipping for so long because I guess I was not the only one who wanted it so bad. But uh, when I got it, I thought, yes, yes, that's it. That That is exactly what I needed in my collection. But for a while, I was complaining to you in the videos that I never had a bottle of Zoologist. I have like 90% of the samplers, but I never really had a full fragrance. Now I do have it. It's my Christmas gift. <laughs> yes, so about the fragrance, uh, the creator that knows behind it um, is Sultan Pashan and he's, he's a very interesting perfumer. Uh, I looked at what he created, mostly it's different attars. Attars are usually oil-based fragrances, very natural, very, um, very deep, uh, very powerful that they use in the Middle East. And I knew that he probably, he would get it. I was hoping that he would get it and he did. It came out in the summer of 2022 when I got it. I think it was July, June, something like that. The scent is based around the life of the scarab, but it's also connected with the ancient and mysterious traditions and rituals. The profile of the scent, by the way, is um, oriental, woody, woody oriental. But when I looked at the structure, at least what they show on the website, it's actually a classic chiffre and it makes sense uh, because it has citruses, aldehydes in the base, fruits um, on, on the top, sorry, fruits in the, as a middle notes as the heart and there is oak moss and um, civet and a lot of stuff, like a lot of balsamic stuff, I think, um, in the... In the base of the fragrance so which looks pretty classic pretty traditional to me and i like it about this about this fragrance i think that it's actually a great idea to create something like this let's talk about the scent itself and how it smells the spray is so nice i really like the spray um, it's like a little cloud very soft drink so in the very beginning when you smell it it strikes you with a lot of aldehydes very very clean i read the reviews on the fragrantica and a lot of people are not happy about it they say that it smells like a soap but i think i have an idea uh, here because this fragrance balances a lot between very very clean this hygienic um, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's so, so clean. And the other side of it is very dusty. It's not dirty, it's just dusty. It's old. It's, it's very, very balanced and it has, um, as I already mentioned, it has very strict uh, structure. So nothing is really going forward. It, uh, other notes, other chords just keep themselves together as one group and uh, it very logically progresses. That's what I really like about this fragrance. I don't know, but today it's so hard to talk to for me. You see, I don't know why, just, just stay with me. Just forgive me for that. <laughs> yeah, so at first it's all the heights. It's, it reminds me of a, a smell of very, very dry wine too. Yes, there is a lemon in the beginning. And then it kind of like the scarab is flying, you know, it's very sunny, it's very hot, but it's very windy too. So there's kind of freshness and a lot of things are going on. But then the scarab comes back home. Maybe it's flying, let's fantasize, it's flying inside of the pyramid. 
and here where the fragrance is becoming darker and the deeper you get there the darker it becomes and um, it's the stage when when it starts to develop you start to smell this dustness that I mentioned before and then it becomes very balsamic very luscious very very classic fragrance in the best meaning of this word because um, it, it, may, it may sound a little old school because it's highly animalic, there is civet and it's clear, you can smell it. I don't know if it's connected with the ritual of mummification or anything, but it's highly animalic. It's like, it's kind of, yeah, it's like a real animal sometimes, but it's what it makes it beautiful and all these balsams and there is there are flowers too like white florals but not like jasmine and tuberose something else maybe like magnolia or something like that something that doesn't have this sweetness about it i think or even gardenia i don't know it's hard to get here to be honest but because again um, it, because of the structure, it just keeps together as a group and nothing really stands out. So it's harder to catch anything in fragrance like this. But what I also like about it, so here at the stage when we're going deeper and deeper in that pyramid, we're just fantasizing here, right? I, I can just, I close my eyes and I can see it. This really draws a picture. And I know that they also used uh, wine for mummification, it, so it makes sense. There's also a slight fruitiness um, about it. It's like a plum, plum or um, peach, no, more plum than peach. Yeah, I think there was a plum mentioned too in the notes. Yeah, so there's a slight fruitiness, like, yeah, and dried fruits too. Maybe fresh, maybe the mix of fresh and dried fruits together, like all together in a bowl. And incenses. It doesn't smell like a church. Incenses don't always smell like a church, but they can be a beautiful support in a vase for for other stuff to just make sense, you know? Incense to make sense. <laughs> and yeah, so this is how it smells to me. I think it's amazing. I think it's an amazing piece of work. It stays pretty long on the skin, um, long enough. I think about seven hours on me. It also depends on where you spray. If you're spraying clothes and hair or on my skin, because I know that different people do it in different ways. But yeah, this is what I think about this fragrance. I can just talk about it forever because, um, <laughs> to be honest, it's just a side note. Um, one time I just I was so excited about this fragrance that I started watching uh, a movie about ancient Egypt and I sprayed it all over me to create an atmosphere so it was very enjoyable actually so just an idea if you've never done anything like this the scents they can also help you feel the atmosphere especially of a really well done movie it, it creates this 4d or 5d effect it's it's great yes so I recommend if, if you're brave enough and this is something you can pull off, uh, I recommend getting this one. But first, try it. Always sample. Because with zoologists, it's um, not that easy. And they can be tricky on the skin and open up in very different ways. So I recommend to first try it. Don't blind buy. I think that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to give this video a thumbs up to comment, to uh, ring the notification bell. I'll be happy to tell you more about the world of fragrances and hope you stay with me. Bye-bye.